What's up, nerds? I'm back. Let's open up a toy. I'm at the old dining room table, which must mean this is a longer review than usual. So here we go. We're going to open this up. Who do we have? Grand Admiral Thrawn from Hot Toys. Oh, hell yeah. I've been waiting for this one for a long time. Well, actually, not that long. Not as long as I was waiting for the stupid Batman figure to come in. But here we go. Let's open this sucker up and see what we have in store for us. Let's zoom out a little bit. Oh, yeah. It's Grand Admiral Thrawn from the Ahsoka series. All right, let's pop that open. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, that's a cool piece of art right there. I'm a sucker for these little inserts they put on here. Check that out. That is really cool. Awesome. You got Captain Enoch and a couple of the troopers right there. Plus the gold image, the, the holographic gold image of the Star Destroyer, the Chimera with the hyperspace ring. Oh, very, very cool. All right, let's hope this figure lives up to the promise that a Hot Toys usually brings. Okay. All right, let's pop him out of here. Uh, what have we got here? In the bottom, we've got... Oh, is that see-through? It is see-through. Looks like the... Uh, Looks like the table readout from whenever they were doing the uh, attack. The orbital, not orbital bombardment, but the bombardment on Ahsoka, Ezra, and Sabine while they were riding the creatures. It's very cool. I'm assuming this probably goes on a stand, so we're going to set this aside right here. All right, what else have we got? Let's pop the plastic topper off like so. All right, take out the instructions. I'm assuming he probably has movable eyes like the others do. We've got some instructions right here that are probably mostly in Japanese or Chinese. Uh, let's see. I'm such a f dud, man. Who, who the hell goes for the instructions first? This isn't a transformer. All right, Grand Admiral Thrawn instruction sheet. What have we got here? Yep, he does have the movable eyes. So you can make him look shifty. Very cool. Also shows you some of the different hands. I like that he's got conniving, scheming hands. That's pretty cool. Uh, what else? He's got a pad. He can put his hands in his... He can clench his fists behind his back. He's got his blaster from Rebels. That is very cool. All right. All right, all this promises to be really, really cool. Let's see how it looks whenever we put them all together. All right, first step, let's get the figure out. He's got a bunch of plastic all over him. All right, let's take a quick look at his profile right here. His portrait is really nice. That looks great. Fantastic. Not bad. I said not bad after I said fantastic. He's, what is it? Fantastic or not bad? Well, it's, it's perfectly fantastic. Uh, he's got some plastic underneath his collar here. I to figure out, a, I think I gotta take his hat off to get that off of it. Yeah, there we go. It's a full on wrap. Let me try and pull that off. Good Lord. Oh man, it's gonna come off in pieces. That sucks. Let's see if I can get a good grip on it. I cannot get a good grip. Get a grip, man. Do, do, do. This is boring. There we go. All right. Get that off of there and put his head back on. Bam. Like so. Much better. Yes. This is Grand Admiral Thrawn. Nice. Pull off some of the plastic that is on his hands and sleeves. Alright. Off of his holster there. And there's also some under his belt. The plastic that was under Batman's belt was a bridge to get off. Let's see if I can pull on it from behind here. Yeah, there we go. Tear that off of there. There we go. Nice. And of course the boots. 
Boots are always problematic because they tape them down here by the ankle, so you kind of got to cut it. But no fear. I always have a blade handy that I have in the other room, so I just lied. So I'm just going to cut that right there. Open that up. Pulls right off. Same on this side. little slice. And opens right up. Pulls right off. Oh, wow. He also has some knee protection here. Ugh. Get that out of there. Oh, my God. Okay, so the figure himself, the portrait looks absolutely amazing. I do wish they had made his eyes glow, but, uh, you know, yeah, whatever. It's pretty cool either way. Uh, articulation, of course, he's got shoulder articulation. Nice looking uniform, too, by the way. I do think he's got a couple of little scuff marks in it. Yeah, it's not a pristine uniform because, of course, he's been in the outer rim or way out in the unknown regions on, on Peridia for so long. But uh, our, anyway, articulation, shoulders, neck, of course, elbows, wrists, hips, knees, ankles, torso. Very, very cool figure. I do love the detailing right there on his pips, his, his rank insignia. All right, what does he come with? Let's check this out. He, of course, comes with... Oh, that was not a stand the hell does that attach to? I have to figure that out. That is really neat looking. All right. Uh, he does come with a stand. So let's go ahead and take a peek at that real quick. Right here it says uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn. Very cool. Set that aside. He does have the crotch hook. So uh, whenever I set him down in the stand, it's going to hook right there. Set that aside. Put that together really fast. Bam. Okay. What have we got here? We have his eye switcher. So you take his head off, you stick this up into his eye socket so you can make his eyes move. I, I think eh, I probably won't mess with it. I'll just let him look straight ahead. I believe this is part of that display table thing. I really got to figure out how to make this work. I'm going to read the instructions on that. Set that aside. Uh, here we go with the uh, holographic chimera. Very cool. You also have the Witches of Dathomir. You've got their tower right there. It's really neat looking. All right. Very cool. Oh, it's got a little 3M right there. I guess it sticks onto the, onto the stand somehow. Really am um, kind of itching to figure that out. What else have we got? We have got his data pad. Cool. Nice little detail right there. Liking that. Also have five alternate hands so he can do his finger steepling hmm I am evil in plotting so that was aside we've got an open hand for holding probably for holding his data pad we have got a trigger finger gun hand right there very cool and it looks like we've got a fist so yeah oh, dropping hands not really a fist Hmm, more like a, I am plotting. Again, lots of scheming. We also have some replacement wrist parts that are purp that are blue. Jesus, that is not purple, that is blue. So that's pretty cool. Very specifically made for him. We also have his code cylinders. So he comes with four code cylinders. If I can get one of them. Well, let me look at the blaster first and I'll dump the code cylinders out. So that's his blaster from Rebels. Very, very cool. I don't think he used it at all in Ahsoka. Still, that was a very cool looking pistol. Awesome. Now, let me see if I can get these out of here. Okay, there we go. We've got his four code cylinders right there for his uniform. All right, let's gear him up and see what he can do. All right, so again, great profile. Code cylinders are in the pockets right there. Very, very cool. Grand Admiral insignia right there. We also have his blaster right there in his holster. Cool thing about Hot Toys is the holster straps are usually magnetic, and this one is no different. So you don't have to worry about buttoning it. It just goes snap right into place. 
And there you go. How cool is that? Let's switch out some of his hands. Here we go. We have him scheming. Ooh. Let us find where young Mr. Bridger is. I can't do his voice as well as I can do cloned voices. Uh, I'll save that for the professionals. So uh, let's switch out another hand. Thoughtful and conniving. Right there. Like that. Mm, how shall I defeat these rebel scum? Next hand. And of course holding his blaster. Very, very cool. Now I do recommend for all of you out there who have purchased this to actually utilize his extra wrist pieces because uh, the wrists, the part that actually goes into his arm pops out really easy, but the part that goes into his hand, the smaller, more fragile part, uh, that has to be pulled out individually every time. Uh, it's, it's really kind of fragile. So just beware, these can break pretty easy. So that's my recommendation. Just uh, use the extra parts and uh, don't change his hands out too much. Okay, so let's go ahead and put him on a stand. Like so. There we go. Kind of put. We really wish that they uh, had like figure color accurate stands. That way you didn't have, you know, big blue dick holder right there. It could actually be white or something. Set him aside like so and try and figure out what to do with this stand. So, not the stand, but the table. The table is interesting. So according to this, the plastic piece, the clear plastic piece just kind of hovers. That's interesting. Okay. And it gets sandwiched between... Um, hmm. Interesting. So it goes like so. Like this. And then this part goes on like that. But I think I attach... Okay, so I think... This part right here, you put, okay, according to the instructions, this, you take off the 3M tape and you stick it there, like so, with the three blue dots facing downward, and then it just kind of hovers on that stick. Let's go ahead and let's let's do this. I mean, that's what it says I'm supposed to do with it. So let's let's go for it. Let's see what happens here. I'm gonna be really bummed out if this doesn't work out so well. Ugh. 3M tape, man. What a pain in the butt sometimes. Do do do. Okay. So that comes off like so. Okay, it's clear tape. And. This goes on like this, directly beneath the three blue dots, like so. Then this part right here sticks in the bottom there, and then you have a war room table. Oh, that's just cool. That is very, very cool. Nice. All right, go ahead and put this in his hand, his data pad in his hand, and we are plotting. I love it. So that's it. Grand Admiral Thrawn from Hot Toys. What a great figure. Love the accessories. Love the artwork. Everything about this figure is very, very cool. Except for the crotch hook. Don't dig the crotch hook. All right. So that's it, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to another review, and as always, keep it nerdy.